deals in here of megalithicmarvels.com. South of Cusco, Peru, in the Sacred Valley, not far from the Alante Tambo archaeological site, is another site that's shrouded in mystery. The journey starts by foot in a mountainous ravine along some railroad tracks. With the wind howling through the canyon, Eventually you see a trail that starts heading off to the right, and that is where you begin the ascent way up into the Andes. As we climbed higher and higher, I began to notice the famous Inca stonework made of rough stone and clay mortar everywhere in ruins. And that led me to ask the question, what had the Inca discovered way up this mountain? My guide author, explorer, and biologist Brian Forrester began to explain to me there was two trails to take up to our destination and we chose to take the more challenging of the two. The higher you get, you are blown away by the breathtaking views of the mountainous ravine below you. As we climbed higher and higher, I began to see what appeared to be a cave in the far distance. And as the cave grew closer and closer, I could see that it appeared to be in the shape of a triangle. As you climb up into the cave and around the corner, you immediately see two objects that stand out in stark contrast to the rough stone and clay mortar that make up the Inca wall that is in the background. One of these shapes that you see at first glance appears to be this altar or a throne of some sort. And you can see the trapezoidal features that it has. On the other side of the cave, cut into the very hard andesite stone, is what appears to really be a doorway that leads straight into the mountain and crafted with almost a laser-like precision. Clearly the Inca could not have shaped this extremely hard andesite stone with their much softer bronze tools. This ancient site is known as Napahuaca and it means ancient temple. And the ancients say that this was actually a portal of some sort. Here you see the Inca construction, which is rough stone and clay mortar at best. There's the Inca wall in the background. The megalithic architecture inside this cave is very reminiscent of what you see at 
Alente Tambo, and even Puma Punku in Bolivia with the trapezoidal imagery and precision cutouts. The top of this structure here was incidentally blown off somehow years upon years ago when the railroad was blasting down below in the ravine. Which is very sad because uh, as amazing as it is now, it would have been even more amazing to see this thing and its finished state completed with the top piece. Here, one of our other guides is explaining from the oral traditions that he's heard how he believes this was an ancient place of worship and what the worshipers would do right here at this structure. According to our guide, Wilco here, the worshiper would bow down and place their head level to the eye hole that was seen previously. Conventional archaeologists or mainstream tour guides, if you came here to the Cusco region, would tell you that this is all just Inca. But if the Inca made all of this, why are some, some of their construction so advanced? And then why is their other construction, like the wall in the background, so inferior to it? Uh, clearly the Inca found these superstructures uh, thousands of years later and built upon them and all around them, as we've seen at every ancient site in Peru. So in closing, it appears to be evident that an ancient civilization that predated the Inca, who possessed a lost ancient high technology, created these megalithic earthworks seen in this cave, seen around Peru, and seen around the world. Although this was by far one of the smallest sites that I got to visit in Peru, to me it might be one of the most impressive based on its remote location and its striking imagery. <laughs>